Hello, hello, and welcome to Kultur Shoffer YouTube channel, and welcome back to Creative Sessions for Kids and Adults. In today's session, we are going to decorate a flower pot, doing a beautiful portrait of Frida Kahlo. Are you ready for this? Let's do it! For today's creative session, we will need some table covering to protect our working area. We will need a flower pot, like this one. It could be also, I mean, it will work perfectly if you have a smaller one or a bigger one. It is fine. Just take the one that you want. We will need, of course, for the final product, some flowers. We will need some varnish. Different types of brushes. Some like uh, cover cans or Tupperware covers to put our paint. And finally, of course, acrylic or tempera paint. And yes, let's do it. Are you ready? Step one, put your favorite playlist and enjoy the process. Step two, cover your working area because we are going to get messy and you don't want to stain a beautiful table like this one because as you see, I already stained it and it doesn't end it with a happy ending. So <laughs> yeah, cover up. Very good. So step three, I think is a really good option. For example, if you have the same case as me, that my flower pot is not white or it's not like a uh, beige. And in this case, it's red. I think it would be a really good idea just to do a white base. So then you can start doing a mapping out with a uh, black or with ochre, for example, and then you will know exactly what you need to paint in black, what you need to paint, I don't know, in red, in pink, just so you don't lose yourself when you are painting and you're enjoying more of the process. So let's do it. I already put a little bit of uh, white paint over here. Of course, you can wear some gloves if you don't want to stain your hands, but it's up to you. Probably you will need to do more than one cape. But again, this is just optional. If you don't want to do it, it's fine. You can just do a, map out, uh, a mapping out then with white lines uh, on top of the color of your flower pot. So it's totally fine. I just do that because I want to. <laughs> so now, as you can see, it's dry, but I want to do a second uh, cape. And I wanted to show you to you, for example, I did the same brush either bed in another type. This one is the one that inside is uh, totally like this kind of, I don't know, brownie color. And it was much easier to do it. So if you are on one of these ones at home, I would recommend you to do, use that ones. And I already put like the black. I want to do a second uh, kit, but it's just to show you. But anyways, we are going to do it with the other one so you can follow better all the steps. Now the next step is to do a maple, uh, a mapping, like to try to draw the lines that you want to do the hair and then later on then the flowers. So like this. I mean, it doesn't need to be perfect because it's your own Frida portrait and you're going to do it in the way that you like it and in the way that you feel more comfortable doing the lines of the hair and the face. So please do not worry, just do it in your way. Remember that these creative sessions are here for try to give to you a little bit of a free space and a safe place to your inner artist to discover yourself and paint so please do not feel like oh am i doing it so wrong no you're not you're just creating your own thing okay so as you can see I did it like this. I put out the paint, but I think it was going to be fine because later on I'm just going to paint on top. So 
once the mapping is done and later in this area over here here on top you can you are going to do the flowers so just if you want you can already do like some mapping for the flowers I think that could be good just like I don't know maybe here it would be one flower just like this but of course later you can just change them and do I don't know maybe a rose instead of a daisy so just do the thing that you like the most the flowers that you want to create so yeah And once your mapping is done, then you will need just to start putting the colors that you want to use. Like what uh, skin color do you want to put Frida? It's up to you. And the hair color. So everything that you feel, just do it. Alrighty. So. Always remember to let dry a little bit the capes so you can uh, put easily the other color on top because if it's not it would be a little bit difficult because it depends on the material that is on the flower pot and if the flower pot have like this transparent uh, cape then it will be more difficult but, it have, but if it is like this then it will be much easier to the paint to stay and dry. So once it's dry let's start with the paint for this in this case I'm going to start with the skin color and I choose that skin color, but again, you can choose the color that you want and the color that you feel. So, yep, because all colors are beautiful. And I think I will need to do more than one cape for the skin as well, just so it will be more there. So while the first cape of the skin is, uh, is drying, I'm going to do the hair because then we can do two things at a time. Here I put some black uh, paint, so yeah. And don't you worry about the details because later on we can just with a smaller brush we can do all the details that they are still white or like things you know and about the type of uh, doing the brush like the brushing is better if you do it like this way because then it will look more like a hair oh I see I put my fingers there <laughs> So now is the time for the mapping. As you can see, I already finished the black one and you can also see there is no perfection here because I'm just doing my thing and I want you to do exactly the same. Later on, I'm just going to finish with the details, some stuff that of course I did like So yeah, and please use gloves. As you can see, my hands right now are full of stains. Use gloves, good recommendation. And um, yes, I will tell you please to do the mapping first with the white as you can see there is still some white under the eyes and then with the black because the white is much better I mean it's easy easiest to solve if you did something that you don't like it you can uh, solve it much quicker but with the black is more difficult so how can we add details I was thinking maybe to use like a watercolor brush so I can do uh, the eyelashes and maybe some hair because you know we had a lot of hair and I think that's amazing so yeah just like I don't know like a little bit like to do it a little bit more realistic I think it looks nice then exactly put the eyebrows I mean I think I'm doing this just because I think it's much cooler and it's more realistic right if you don't have watercolor brushes again it's fine use a marquee a permanent something like this it will perfectly work okay <laughs> Now let's do like maybe a little bit more here.
So now it's time for the flowers and we will be done and later on we will add maybe like a layer of varnish. I think it will be really good because if it's not if it rains or something or when you're uh, watering, in the, watering the plants I think it's always better just to have like a good uh, layer <laughs> of varnish. So recommendations for the flowers always apply first a white uh, layer because it will be much easier for you later on to do different colors and shades because uh, it, the white, of course, is always a really, really good base. So, yeah, always apply this white layer. Nice, I'm saying layer and not cape. <laughs> That's the problem with speaking many languages, that sometimes your brain just gets confused. Does it happen to you? It happens to me, actually, quite a lot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. So now I'm going to wait a little bit for it to dry and then I'm going to add the different colors that I want to put and it will be done. Okay. And I think later we can just add more details using watercolor brushes because they work pretty well for the face so I think I'm just going to use it also later on. If you want to do it like me with uh, different tones it is really easy you just need to do first a first tone it was the red then you put yellow and then you get the red and the, um, the yellow that you use and you create orange like as you can see here and then you start like tapping over there and now you will see the same process but with pink colored. In the first one cape I hope <laughs> you see one layer sorry and then we will do a little bit more of white so we'll have a little bit more of color You can either put the yellow first or the red first, it doesn't matter. It just depends on uh, what shadows you want to create and what depth. Because anyways, it's going, it's going to look very cute, I'm sure of it. So now I will get a little bit of this. You put it here. And you just play with the colors. And I'm doing it. So it will look different. And it's nice because you're doing something that not everybody is doing because everybody wants to do perfect shapes right and stuff like this mm -mm. we are not for the perfection we are for the fun right so that's what i'm doing and then i'm going to add a little bit of white in the center so we can put a little bit more of yellow so now it's time for details what are details as you can see between the flowers there are many places right that they look like not really nice. So what we are going to do is like, for example, with a watercolor brush, we are just going to do it like this. We're going to get these parts and just start doing this. 
and you will do this in every part that you think that it should be a little bit redone. All right, and now the last details, a little bit of color in the cheeks. I think it's going to look really cute. Just a little bit in the cheeks. Now you just need to let it dry, I will say maybe for one hour and later we can do one uh, layer of varnish so it will be protected. So now it's time for the final step that is the one of uh, doing some varnish. I will recommend it 100% because uh, as I told you before when you will put the flower inside or the plant and you want to uh, water it it will always came some water and it could damage the paint so it's always better to varnish uh, my varnish I got it from Ikea but I'm sure that you will find it in your local uh, stores so yeah let's start with the varnish just a little bit so nothing crazy My dear friends of YouTube, I will not recommend you to use this varnish from IKEA. You will need to get something in a Nars and Craft a local shop because I used the varnish and now Frida is crying and she had a very dramatic week or something. So please do not use this varnish. That's good because now you know that you cannot use normal varnish and you know what, why I mean, because I use watercolor brushes to do some details and when I put the varnish on top, it just <laughs> whip it out. So yes, if you use watercolor brushes to do details, do not use normal varnish. Maybe one that is like in spray, maybe then it will work. But I would recommend you always to check with your local arts and craft shop. So yeah. Do not do it like me. Do not make Frida cry. <laughs> let's try if I can. Let's see if I can try to solve this. I mean, yeah, let's try. So no panic. I'm solving it. As you can see, now I'm going to try to do not have like tears. <laughs> but yeah, by just adding color on top of it. So I hope it works out. But it's good that I tried. <laughs> so now you know that you don't need to do that. But I guess these things happen right in art. When you're trying, there is also accidents. And that's completely fine. So as you can see, I saw the catastrophe because she was suffering. <laughs> She was crying a lot, but I solved it. How I did it, just in case that it happens the same, but please do not do what I did. I mean, the rest of the part is varnished, so that's really good. Also, the flowers are varnished. And the face is halfway through, because uh, the details that I did before with watercolor in the eyebrows, the eyelashes, and some of the mouth were destroyed, but I did them again with uh, the paint, with the normal paint and a very tiny brush, like this one very very tiny and you can do exactly the same and if you do it like this and you let it dry without using any watercolor brushes you can use normal varnish but if you want to use if you want to do the details with watercolor brushes please use another type of varnish or another type of uh, layer to protect the flower pot and now this is just like the end what we need to do is to add a beautiful flower to the pot so it will become alive and yep yeah, so done congratulations you have finished one more creative sessions for kids and adults i really hope that you enjoy it and if it is like this please give it a like and subscribe to our youtube channel and be ready and wait for the next creative session for kids and adults bye bye